What's up everyone, welcome back to another Safe Buys video. I'm Safe and today I wanted to just give you a quick your comparison between the MX Mechanical keyboard and the MX Keys regular over here. So we've got Mechanical and the regular version. Ultimately, of course, the preference here is gonna to go to come down to personal preference, so it's a pretty subjective opinion. Um, you're gonna to wanna to try these out. You can buy them both and then figure out which one you like and return them, or you could go try them at your local Best Buy or wherever they have them set up on display. Save yourself the hassle of having to return. and. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Which one am I keeping? I'm keeping the MX keys. I prefer it because it's a quicker typing experience. The keys don't get as loud. Like the sound what I'm typing isn't as loud, and I feel like I can type quicker. Uh, I like the indentations here on the keys, these butterfly keys, and um, they basically help me type quicker uh, at, the, at the end of the day. Functionally, they have almost the same features across both of these. Uh, it's just a different typing experience because the mechanical one, it's a bit more of a press to it. It's mechanical. Um, they both, uh, the mechanical one also has another difference. It has like these uh, feet over here. And basically they can help give you a little bit more of a tilt. Or you could opt for like closer to flat over here. I don't think it's fully flat, this almost fully flat. Whereas this one, the regular MX keys, the one I'm keeping, it's more like a standard, like one tilt angle. And honestly, it's perfect for me. I don't mind it at all. Plus I prefer the color. Uh, aesthetically, yeah, I do prefer the look of the regular MX keys on my desk. Um, but that's besides the point, right? Like, let's talk about, about features that, that these Logitech keyboards have that aren't necessarily in every other keyboard. You have the ability to quick switch between one, two, three devices just by like clicking on one, one of these three here. And uh, that's pretty convenient. And these are full size keyboards. So you got your number pad, you can quickly open a calculator, do some calculations, move back, and the lights, like the lighting on them, they light up like as you type or you could turn that off and uh, change it so that you manually set the brightness of the lights, the, like the keyboard backlights on either of these. Um, but yeah, short video here. It's basically subject to preference. I just thought I'd show you guys since I have them both here with me. Uh, let me show you up close and personal what they both look like. So yeah, the MX Keys regular in black. I believe it comes in space gray and uh, maybe a couple of other colors like something closer to white and like a silver. But uh, this is the one I went for, black, pretty sleek. And this one only comes in one color as far as I know. The mechanical version comes in this weird gray. I don't like the aesthetic of it. I don't like the fact that the keys make a loud sound. I'm, I think I'm just not pro mechanical keys right now is ultimately my why I'm leaning that way. But you can see they both have on-off switch USB-C, on-off switch USB-C on this one too. And you got the power light over here indicating if it's on or off. Now. Given that I'm choosing the MX keys, I was thinking about, is this the best for like a butterfly keyboard like this? Um, I tried the Apple keyboard, what do you call it? Magic keyboard with touch ID. The Ma Magic keyboard, the Apple Magic keyboard has like a touch ID sensor somewhere over here. And uh, that's pretty convenient if you're using a MacBook. But uh, I don't think the inclusion of that makes up for the difference in price because those are like MSRP of 229, whereas this one's like 149 Canadian, I think, or something like that. And that one's like 229 for some reason. I don't know why it's super expensive. Maybe it's just mechanical keyboards are just more expensive in general. Um, I don't know if that's a demographic thing or it actually the keys cost more. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to try out the Apple keyboard one, but it just didn't feel as premium, so maybe I won't even buy it. I don't know. But uh, right now, my preference is the MX keys. Here's what it looks like on the desk. Pretty nice, pretty sleek. And here's what the mechanical one looks like on the desk. Again, not bad. Now, if you have any questions that I didn't answer here, this was sort of like a quick comparison here just between the two in case you were wondering what they look like side by side in real life, like in 4K, I guess. Um, this is what they look like. I hope this is high quality enough for you. But if you have any other questions about either of these, just uh, drop it in the comments below and I'll answer anything. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video. More reviews and cool gadgets and tech to come. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.